Okay, so uh, good morning, everybody. As you can notice, I, I have neither an American nor a British accent, uh, but maybe an emerging market accent would not do me any harm here. And uh, I hope that at least, if I cannot interest you in the proposal, at least that I hope that you understand me. Uh, I am part of the group of, that, uh, of the council that deals with international monetary system. As you can imagine, this, this is this name, International Monetary System, calls for many, many things. So we had a long time discussing what should we focus in order to make a concrete proposal. And we had trouble finding consensus on that, but we agreed that the, the main issue that we should, con we should concentrate, at least in terms of trying to make a concrete proposal, is the issue of liquidity, the provision of international liquidity. Uh, and that part of the... Um, part of the uh, problems created in this crisis were coming from the need of, for liquidity, uh, particularly the large accumulation of uh, reserve, more than six, six trillion, in, particularly in Asia, but in many emerging markets. And the large accumulation of reserve needs for a provision of liquidity, uh, some, some provision that comes from uh, some neutral source, not only coming from the deficits of, of the United States. In this sense, uh, we thought that um, the main way or the best way that we can suggest to for provision of liquidity is the increasing of the, the automatic increasing of SDRs. SDRs are the, the special drawing rights of the IMF. This exists. It lo looks to you probably, well, this is a very trivial proposal. It's something that exists, has been allocated, allocate more. But well, it's not a trivial proposal. It's very, been, have been very difficult, really, to get this increase in liquidity through the IMF. And we are suggesting some sort of automatic, irregular yearly allocation of SDRs, uh, something like monopoly. I mean, pass, go, get, collect 200. And that absolutely, uh, clearly, the, the IMF will provide this liquidity and will provide a number also 200 million billion a year uh, to all its members. And that will increase the, avail the availability of, of uh, international resources and will reduce the need uh, for countries to keep uh, balance of payment in, in balances. Uh, now, in addition to that, we are suggesting also that in times of crisis, like uh, in 2009, there would be the ability for the IMF to fund itself by creating unlimited amount of SDR. Now, this again is a, is a very controversial proposal because unlimited amount of SDR creation could lead to inflation, could lead to, to imbalances. So it is a, a controversial proposal, but we are proposing the two, these two things, an automatic increase in SDRs every year and the, the, the granting to the IMF the right that in times of crisis to increase its, um, uh, its uh, in, uh, unlimited um, by an unlimited amount to increase the allocations of SDR. Now, that's not the only proposal that we have, but that's the main proposal. We think also that it's important to explore other ways to provide liquidity to the system. One is to improve the line of credit, automatic line of credit that the IMF has put in place. The IMF put in place for this crisis and a, a more automatic line of credit for good clients. I mean, for those that in principle will not need liquidity, but because the crisis they actually needed to, 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 to have some back but this line of credit, the flexible credit line, was not very successful in the sense that only three countries applied for it. Uh, no Asian country where the big accumulation of reserves are taking place uh, uh, applied for it. So we think that there is a problem of, le of, of legitimacy to the IMF and that the IMF has to think for better ways of providing liquidity in, in addition to SDR to, to good performance because this SDR, uh, this uh, special uh, the credit line has not really fulfilled its role. In addition to that, there may be also the need to, to combine in some way the operations of, J, of the G20 with the IMF because uh, the IMF has uh, international membership, but at the same time uh, that, does lack the, the legitimacy in the sense of not having a good representation of emerging market. And for years and years and years I've been trying to improve that, but it is a very slow process and not really very, been very successful. On the other hand, the G20 has more representation of, of uh, emerging markets. I mean, Howard uh, uh, really said that this is uh, international, more, more representative, but it still uh, lack the, the, the legitimacy of the fact that does not have international membership. If you have just to give an example, it's simply an example, you can find other examples, but if you ask a Colombian, a person from Colombia or, or somebody from Poland, if they recognize the G20 as a very legitimate body, they will tell you, well, we are not there, nobody invited us there, we are not members. 
So there, there is a there is a, a problem of legitimacy uh, also to the G20. So we think that there, there should be some sort of cooperation and some sort of integrated co uh, integrated representation of emerging markets in uh, in the IMF, a better representation of, uh, of uh, emerging markets in the IMF and a, a better uh, justification for the membership in the G20 in order to give legitimacy to, to this um, uh, organization. If there is no legitimacy, then this proposal of SDRs will not work because this SDR will not be recognized as liquidity. So we think that the proposal can work and, and can re, re, uh, relieve this problem of uh, lack of liquidity in the, uh, in the system. But at the same time, I think that it's very important to increase uh, not only the task, but also the legitimacy of the international bodies. Thank you. So, thank you, Mario.